Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia. If you are new around here, if you are, make sure you are subscribed and tuned into all the latest content. Right now you are catching us in the third and final video of a three-part series in which I am detailing what the heck happens when a medical student graduates from medical school. So in the first two videos, I discussed exactly what residency is, which is the training that a medical student undergoes in their field of training, in their specific field of interest after they graduate from medical school. And in the second part, I discussed how exactly a medical student goes from their fourth year to applying for a residency, what that application process looks like, and what are the steps that need to be taken in order for an applicant to apply. In this video, you guys, I'm going to be discussing what happens once a medical student applies for residency and how do you skip to actually getting into a residency program and starting your residency training. So before we jump in, make sure you guys are subscribed, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. All right, guys, so a fourth year medical student figures out what they wanna do with their life, finds their specialty of interest, right? They apply for residency, spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars submitting application to various programs all across the nation. They start interviewing at programs that invite them for interviews, and then what happens next? So after you finish your interview season, you guys, so the interview season typically goes from about September to late January, February, but whenever it is that a medical student finishes with however many interviews they decide to do, um, they basically sit down and look at all the programs that they interviewed at, right? So say it's 20 programs that a student interviewed at, they sit down and really kind of assess the pros and cons of each program and figure out a rank list. So a rank list is an ordered list of programs in which a medical student interviewed at that they would like to attend and be in that residency program in the order of preference. So kind of how we do it is that in the interview season, we're keeping not only mental notes, but also um, like spreadsheets or documentation somehow of what we like and don't like about programs. Some people, including myself, might even keep a tentative rank list and kind of edit it as we go through the interview season and a new program might change our rank list a bit. But all that to say, come the end of a person's interview season, they should have a rank list and an idea of what programs they want to match at in the order of preference. Which brings me to the match, as I just mentioned it and spilled the beans. So the NRMP, or the National Resident Matching Program, or MATCH for short, is the national system by which medical students who are applying for residency are literally matched to residency programs throughout the nation. There is a fantastic video, you guys, that really explains the mechanism behind how the match works, so I'm gonna link that above. But in a nutshell, you guys, it's some algorithm. Don't ask me how, you know, who designed it or how they designed it. It is like next level type of analysis and data, but basically there is an algorithm that looks at all the students and which programs they applied to and their rank list. And it also looks at the program's rank list because the program is also ranking students that they interview. And it basically matches individuals. It combines the students. It's a student preference algorithm. So it takes the student's choice into account before the programs. So it looks at a student's rank list of programs as well as the programs list of students and matches everyone nationally to their program. Like anything in education, this does absolutely not come free. So medical students have to not only pay for their residency applications, but we also pay for the match. There is a fee associated with it and creating a rank list and submitting our rank list to the match. So for this year, ranking opens February 1st. So that is the first date that medical students will be able to start submitting their rank lists. It closes March 2nd. So students have to have uploaded and had their rank list 
certified by this day. The algorithm is going to work its magic. And then we have match week. So match week, you guys, is a week full of festivities around the match and graduating medical students, figuring out where they're gonna go and all of that. It is a week long event, however, because there are many moving parts that you may or may not be aware of. So let's start the week off with Monday. So for this year, it's going to be Monday, March 14th. At 9 a.m., graduating medical students, myself included, are going to get an email notifying us if we matched or not. So basically it is only going to say in this email, congratulations, you have matched, or sorry, you have not matched. It does not give you any detail as far as if you matched, where you matched to, which program you matched at, or anything like that. It is simply a yes or no, did you match or not? The reason why this email even happens and why it is extremely important is because in the subsequent days that follow, from Monday to Thursday, the SOAP process will happen. SOAP stands for Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program. Basically what SOAPing, or what they used to call it the scramble is, is for individuals who received that email on Monday that they did not match it is for them to try to obtain a residency slot at open slots around the nation so after Monday when individuals find out that they match there may be a variety of open uh, residency programs throughout the nation that went unmatched slots that simply went unfilled for a variety of different reasons there could have been more slots than interviewed students there could be unfilled spots as a result of the programs not ranking as many students as was interviewed, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever the reason is, there will be unfilled spots in a variety of specialties come Monday, March 14th, after individuals are notified whether they match or not. So from Monday to Thursday, individuals who did not match will be trying to find a spot in the specialty of their choice that is open and unfilled. And it is during this time that they are reaching out and communicating with these programs, kind of going through interview processes, expedited interview processes themselves to try to grab one of those unfilled spots to get a job. And I will talk about not matching even after this process in a few moments, but nonetheless, Monday to Thursday is a SOAP process for individuals who don't match. Then Friday comes, and Friday is officially match day. So March 18th, 2022 will be match day for the class of 2022. So on match day at 12 p.m. across the nation at all medical schools, students will be handed from their faculty and administration a personalized envelope which they will open in front of their friends and family and loved ones and school administration and anyone else who is invited to celebrate with them that day they will open their envelope or they might be hiding around the corner opening it personally you know privately but nonetheless they will be opening their envelope at 12 p.m on match day and finding out exactly where they have matched and where they will be beginning their career in their residency training of choice. The envelope will explicitly state which program the student will be attending for their residency training. And this is a binding contract, you guys. This means that where a student matched at, they are legally and contractually obliged to go to that program and complete their training. If not, there are repercussions in the medical space, in the field, that kind of negatively affect an individual, a trainee who does not uphold their end of this contract and either decides to not go to that program or to withdraw from that program during their residency training. It's on top of that, it's just not a good look, especially being that you match at a program that you rank, you guys, you know? So like 
you might have interviewed at 20 schools and you could match it your number one, you could match it your number two, or you can match it your number 20. So that's why it's extremely important to only rank programs and schools that you are absolutely content going to because it should not be a shock to you that you match somewhere because it was on your rank list you know you may not get your number one you may not get your number 20 you know like that's that's kind of down the list a bit but nonetheless if you rank a program you have to be absolutely content going there because you are contractually bound to in the worst case scenario so noon on friday is where the real festivities begin and individuals will then go and celebrate the weekend you know start the processes of potentially relocating if they are going to a program out of the geographic region that they are currently in and really just starting a new life you know obviously graduation isn't until may so there's a lot of time from march to May and fourth year students might even still be in classes or completing last minute requirements for their degree however after match day I'm not gonna lie to you guys you know like I've seen it happen many years and it's gonna happen this year for me but usually after that after you're matched and you know that you are pretty much done at this point the light bulb kind of starts flickering and dying a little bit and kind of gets senioritis really bad and you're just ready to jump into that next experience and that next chapter of life but all that to say match week is a very exciting time for a medical student because it really is the beginning of a new future on the other hand i would be remiss if i didn't mention obviously another real possibility is that individuals do unfortunately go unmatched sometimes so basically this means as i stated on monday you may find out that you did not match right and on monday evening to thursday you might be trying to find an unfilled position somewhere to jump into to be employed and to find and to find something to match on friday with your peers unfortunately for some they may still find that they remain unmatched even after Friday, in which case then becomes a matter of just plan B. What are you going to do because you are not going to be starting a residency program this year? So maybe taking a year to do research, to take a gap year basically, to teach. You can find a position at the medical school or the university. However, you cannot do a clinical role as a physician. Although you will have your MD degree, you have yet to complete a residency training and got board certified. So you can't really step into the role of a doctor. However, seeking other employment opportunities in in research, in public health, in medical consulting, or something else is an option for individuals who need a gap year, in which case they can reapply in the match the following year. This does not happen as frequently as matching does. Most schools have very high match percentage rates and you could find them usually on the school's website of how many students or what percentage of their student body matches every year. And I just wanna note that that should be something you should absolutely be paying attention to as an incoming medical student. Not only the USMLE scores, average scores of the, of the school or the passage rate, but also the match rates of the medical school those are two big things that really indicate the successfulness of the students that are attending that medical school and that is something that you should be you know proactive about researching in your exploration of where you want to go to medical school so i think that's all the information i'm going to overload you guys with in this video about but just know come march that students who are graduating that have applied for residency interviewed submitted their rank lists of where they want to be are going to have match week match week will happen this coming year monday march 14th to friday march 18th where students find out not only if they match but exactly where they match and which program they will be beginning their career and their residency training app. So be sure you guys are tuned in on Instagram and Twitter and all the social media sites because a lot of students will be celebrating come match week and posting where they matched. And it's a, just a really fun and motivating and encouraging time because you see all of the medical students who have been through so much schooling and education really finally come to the light at the end of the tunnel and see all of their hard work come to fruition in their next stage of life so be sure you guys are following me 
not only on social media at the Julia Carter, but be sure you're subscribed. I'm going to have so much content dropping this coming year, you guys. Like, I'm already thinking about it. I'm so extra, as you all know, but I'm really like, this is the pinnacle of my life. Like, this is something I've worked toward literally my whole life, and it's going to be my proudest moment up to date so best believe there's going to be some content dropped here you for you guys to celebrate this accomplishment um i'm going to be showing you guys probably not only all of match week but i have a lot of great stuff coming up in the spring so best believe you guys are going to be the first ones to see match week and graduation and everything that's going to be happening me relocating because i'll key you guys in a little bit i will be relocating so with that be sure you guys give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed so you're tuned in to all the hot content that is coming and be safe be well i love you family